Santiago Espinal has taken over for Ernie Clement. Here is another one of those left-handed possibilities for the Yanks out of the bullpen. Right, we talk about those openings in the bullpen and well more than trying to overpower someone. Ramirez misses away with a change up two and two. It's not going to overpower you. It's going to be more about trying to fool you. They get the ground ball, but it shoots it through the right side for a base hit. Two this spring, the Yankees are going to have to have difficult conversations with them because they probably are major leaguers, and they probably did. Some of them are going to get the news they didn't want to get. You have options, that sort of thing. To think, I wonder if I could be somewhere else playing at the major league level, but now I have to go grind. Professional athlete standpoint is just the mental toughness that you have to have. Strikeout. Ramirez the with the. Is it change up or a sweeper? Yeah, that's a change up. I it's often the, would ask players who were in that situation, and, and they would say that they don't think about it, but to remind yourself when and if you're in that situation. You're performing for the team that you're on, but you're performing for every team. By the time he looked at second, not sure he would have been able to get it out there. He looks, there's nobody there, and they're all... Bases loaded, one out. Rafael Lantigua. To remind yourself, Bob, if you're one of those guys who's in that situation, they're going to use a lot of players throughout the year. Base hit into center field will score at least one. And Ramirez comes inside with that pitch. Lantigua just drives it into center field. Allen gets to it quickly. At second, Lantigua at first, and Daniel Vogelbach. This is his second at back. He took over as D8. Lefty on lefty. Guy that can put the ball in play. Guy that can hit the ball a long way if he gets a hold of it find a way to get an out or two on the afternoon. 8-4, bottom of the seventh. Yankees lead it on the Montefiore-Einstein scoreboard. In. Big swing and a miss. 1-2 pitch from Iser. Gonzalez digs it out but grounds it to short. One away. Let's had a nice afternoon following up with Anthony Volpe. We showed him on the accurate game summary with his four for four afternoon. Stanton the home run and of the fifth and scored a run. All right, the Yankees have to be pleased with their offense today. Principally, it was known somewhat for its combativeness and its volatility, and Cashman has spoken about it. And one of the things he said during that half, so the Yankees have a lot of confidence in Volpe. I think he has a lot of confidence in himself. And I do believe in year two, we're, we're going to see a better version of Volpe simply season. This didn't look good. This didn't look. He checked so many positive boxes last year. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't think he allowed the game to speed up on him, which was important. A little bit, but one thing I mentioned to you earlier is Caleb Ferguson gave up an inning. Their sound, they could just let it fly and not worry about anything. That's where he looks like he's at. Trying to do against him tells you everything that you need to know. And in his last two outings against the Phillies and the Blue 2024. 2 1 pitch coming up to McDowell. And a swing and a miss, two and two. He's working on right now. Now the Yankees want him to refine the changeup and they want him to be more than a two or a three pitch. It tilts him more towards being a, a bullpen arm. Good pitch by Caleb Ferguson. Just missed there. Three and two. Yeah, a little, little low. Ferguson probably wanted it, but I think it was. And just missing away. So a walk. First and second. Nobody out. Top of the eighth. Eduardo Escobar is the hitter. Fouls out with pitchers, right? It doesn't just come when you're 19, 20, 21 years old. Yeah, I always refer back to David Cohn and how he said the second the ball, read the reaction, watch what the batter has done or what you think he might do. The walks that had plagued him earlier in his major league career. Ferguson. Yeah. 
Wills another pitch to it. Misses up and away three and two. Yeah, Ferguson searching. And base hit out to right center field. That will score one, make it an 8-5 game as the runner advances. Center, that's going to cause Aaron Boone to make a pitching change. We take one more look at this pitch. Fastball a little off the plate. Escobar goes with it. Back against Caleb Ferguson, who's now out. And another lefty, Clayton Andrews, has come in. For a strike two and one. Thing we have to point out with Andrews, Bob, he's five foot six. He is a little dude out there trying to be working from the stretch with runners at first and third. In for a strike, three and two. Gets one off the end of the bat, takes the out at first, one away. 8-6 Yankees here top of the eighth. Runners at second and third and one away. And Santiago Espinal with it's interesting. We're going to see the spring breakout game coming up. We'll see some of their top young talent. And it reminds you of within the division and this season. It's, there's a ground ball to short. With Gosman, Barrios, Bassett, Cucci, and then we'll see who, who ends up at that five spot. I think it's in, incumbent upon the Blue Jays. They... They need to do more than just get there. And you can say that element that they've developed. And just to underscore the point I'm making is that Guerrero is going to be coming up on free agency. Bichette is going to flip the page and, and move on. I think the AL East is, is going to be fascinating. Including Pakoda have been picked to win the division with, with nine fan base with being not too active. 3-2 pitch, Andrews misses to Davis Schneider, so to double or triple digits. I'll bet he's heard it a lot. 5-6, getting out to the major league level. Barroa out to left field. That turns things around in a big way in this game. A two-out. Brings up Rafael Antigua. Fastball is in a spot where Barroa is just going to drop the head of the bat on it. Following a walk. Andrews trying to get himself ahead, get out of the inning. Here in the top of the eighth. Blue Jays have scored five runs. Lantigua back to Andrews. And that will do it. Yankees looking to battle from behind now. After leading 8-1, they're down 9-8. A couple balls hit to left field and a grounder to short. Well struck and into the corner and left it. Danner throws hard. He's coming in with heat. That one, little backup slider, and you see Downs able to stay back on it, keep his hands in, drive it down the left field line, and Yankees have a big shot. He struck out back in the sixth. Ball game. And then in the spring breakout game, we're going to see Ben Rice as well, who's highly thought of. And Narvaez, great camp. Rortvet does not have any options, so his situation becomes interesting. Austin Wells lifts that one out to center field. Rudder will tag. Move to third, one away. Soto getting a, a fifth at bat. To second, and he struck out looking in his last at bat. Escara yeah. scars that one. Smokes it. Major League organization he had played with before the Yankees was the Orioles trying to work his Gar actually played high school baseball against Nestor Cortez. He's hit. He said go, going back to high school in Hialeah, this guy could always hit, and, and there's an example of that. To give the Yanks a 10-9 lead here in the bottom of the eighth. This is Benjamin. Dan are just missing, so. Chopper up the middle, and. Over for John Carlos Stanton. 
Chopper to third. Catcher. It was actually a second round pick by the Blue Jays in 2017 as a catcher. Swinging him. And a swing and a miss, and that'll do it here in the bottom half. Clayton Andrews is still in there pitching. Victor. So we certainly hope you've enjoyed a ball game all day. So we're going to have that game for you on Yes and the Yes app. They're going to take about 40 to 45 minutes between games to win a ton of offense, no doubt about it. Lots of offense and singled and scored as part of that five run eighth inning that at the time gave the Blue Jays. <laughs> I think that quality to it. And I do think you're right. I think you fooled the umpire. He's humming in these. Put him back on top. Now the Yanks and. Clayton Andrews trying to close it out. Chopper to short. On the first, two away. And away from giving the Yanks a victory over the Blue Jays here. One of the top prospects from both sides of the Blue Jays and the Yankees will begin after they do. And a strike, or a pitch coming up to McDowell. And off the knuckles and into center field for a two-out base hit.